Another thing that we can examine and look at is Kimberly Clark. Let's bring it closer to home. So Kimberly Clark is a Wisconsin-based business. This is Tom Falk, their CEO. Tom Falk discovered that healthy organizations need everybody's voices. So Tom Falk had this I would say fairly horrific experience. He went to his board and he had to explain the marketing strategy behind tampons to the board, right? <laughs> I don't know, any men in the room like volunteering for that task? Um, he, he had to explain the marketing strategy for tampons to his board and afterwards somebody from the board came to him and said, uh, dude, maybe he didn't, but I think he probably did, like, dude, don't you think that maybe it would be more credible if a woman shared this information than a man? And Tom Falk took that to heart and he thought about it and he said, I, I think so, why, why isn't there a woman presenting this? information. He examined Kimberly Clark and found that only 19% of their leadership was women. And most of them were not in the upper ends of leadership. They were like first floor level managers. Um, and so he made a vow that that would change within Kimberly Clark. He tied it to pay for performance. He tied diversity of all sorts to making sure that we're committed to representing our members and our body of, of consumers. And what he found, interestingly enough, is that their sales started to soar and that their stock price doubled. So not only do healthy organizations need all voices to really meet their customer needs, but there's a financial impact on this front. So it's interesting that we we can think of it both individually, like what we can do, and then also as far as what our organization can do.